Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also make sure that you are following me on my Instagram page, which is still Miss Renity Smith. Guys, there's a link in the description bar for my merch if you want to get some of my merch. And if you want to be a part of the chatterbox with live with exclusive live streams, it is $1.99. And you must be 18 years old or older to join. And that is in the description box as well. Um, so today I am going to introduce to you guys baby Nima, which she does have a new name, but you guys know her as Nima. Um, I don't want to reveal her name as of yet because her mom has said her name and I want it to be a surprise and let her do that. But Nima, let me give you a little background on Nima. Nima is... Um, my second the second time I painted a silicone baby um the first time I painted her I was not as pleased so I went back over and painted on her some more which I am happy with um her her results the second time around um she isn't like a perfect flawless baby but she's she's perfect to me you know, she's my second baby. Her hair was rooted, um, directionally rooted by Mary O. Um, you can find her on Instagram at it's Mary O. Um, and like I said, it's, it's directionally rooted. It's, it's uh, and um, so she, her hair was rooted in a way that might be a little different than, sorry, than most most people um do because it is very much like to me what an african-american baby hair looks like um the the style of it and everything i think i think she did a good job with the style that she chose to root it in um just like with anything else that i do for the most part um i feel like rooting is an art form in itself and i also kind of give the artist um, free form in that as well. So today I'm just gonna put her in her outfit in which she will travel home in. I was gonna put her on her outfit, but I think I'm going to send this one home with her. And I don't wanna put that one on. I've, I've decided I, won't, I, don't, I shouldn't put that one on her. I had another outfit that I was gonna put on her. Um. Now, Nima is, uh, she is Janie by Rachel Farrell. She is soft silicone. She has a, um, squishy tummy. Um, Rachel's squishy tummy, it's, it's soft. It's very soft and, and flexible. She has elbow armatures, which is very nice. And, like I said, she's, she's a good size baby. <laughs> and... She has very good movement as far as flexibility. So she's very soft. So I'm just going to get her dressed. She has the little piggies. Look at the little piggies. <laughs> she has very good size feet too. She has very good size feet for dressing purposes, which is really nice. Um, she doesn't have a drinking wet. Um... She has an open mouth with a tongue and gums. And she does, she's very much for me, she was a pacifier baby. And her pacifier goes right in with no problem really. I just, I just always try to keep her top lip. I don't even want her top lip to be tucked in. Because she, she has very small lips so sometimes the top lip lip. I'll try to get tucked in and I try to stop that but yeah her so that is her like I said her elbow armatures work really good so yeah so anyway so that is that like I said um Nemo was my second baby and she was going to be a keeper and a personal baby for me, but, you know, 
things change, you know how it go. And um, I just decided to go ahead and let her go. So I've been working with her mommy, one of my, another one of my great customers, which, you know, I consider to be a dolly friend as well. Um, I've lately just really been connecting with a lot of my customers, which has been really nice because, you know, doing like customs or private orders or just a transaction in general, you hear so much negativity as far as, you know, just with working with, you know, the, the artist or working with the sculptor or the whoever is just always, sorry, I just want to see if you guys can see her completely. It's always like you always hear this you know, thing where it's like, we, you know, people, let me take some of this light off her, sorry. It's like she's, her color is being really washed out. Um, but yeah, it's like you always hear, you know, bad stories, bad experiences. Um, a lot of people don't do customs anymore because of that. And that's why I don't do customs because of that. But I just didn't know if you guys could have seen her, co her color seemed to have been a little washed out. But you'll be able to find more pictures of her on um, Instagram. So, yeah. So, and a lot of people ask me, like, a lot of times with my babies, like, how much do you charge and what range? And, you know, I like to, to, to price my babies after they're done. Um, in the most In most cases, of course, if it's a painted kit service then you gotta kinda tell up front because you you can't get somebody baby and be like oh I'll give you the price when I finish so no you can't do that but like with a baby that you already painted you know or a baby that you're going to paint just for yourself I find it better because like I you know I had to price her according to you know the level of her painting and stuff like that you know so I don't want to just have a flat fee because sometimes it might be too high and sometimes it might be too less, you know. So, um, and I just want to have, you know, fair pricing. Um, also, another thing is I think a lot of people think, oh, when you're new, like, I've just started painting silicone, but I've been painting Reborns for a couple of years now. And they think, oh, you should just, like, basically do it almost for free. Well, I won't be doing that. So, um, because I, I feel like I put, I still put a lot in, of work into my babies. Um, even though I've only painted three silicone babies, I feel like the type, the level of their work is, um, I shouldn't be doing it for free, basically. Um, but I'm not trying to be up there with the top dogs. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Um, but I love, I love doing this and I, I love the babies. I love the silicone babies. I love my reborns. I'm actually, um, uh, working on, um, two reborns right now that I'm really very much enjoying the painting process. Lately, I've been enjoying painting a lot more because I've been you know, just really taking my time and, and spending the time to really like experiment on coloring and just don't play it safe so that I can see what happens and see if I can get them as real as possible. And I could have put her on this other outfit because she does have something else. So that's okay. I was thinking, I'm like, I could have put on this, but I like my babies to travel in sleepers. Just simply because, you know, you keep them, they're mostly covered up and, and protected that way. So I, I do like that. Let me see if I can get this to so where it's not as much light on her to where you can't see. Her coloring is, you know, lighting is so hard. I open up the window a little earlier and it was like the sun was so bright it was too bright and I was like what the heck so yeah my favorite my favorite part on her is her face her face is 
I love the way her face look, especially with this, now that she has hair. It's like, she reminds me of my baby cousin. Um, her babies look like um, this sculpt. So I, I, I have enjoyed working on her and I have to get going um, because we're gonna try to, I'm hoping I can get her home before Christmas. That is my, my biggest hope. Um, so I gotta get her packed up and everything and hopefully her mom gets to love on her and enjoy her and everything. She has premium quality mohair. It's a curly hair, but her sides was kind of, I think rooted more to lay down around the sides and on the back and then just curly and, you know, full up at the top. But I kind of like scrunched it all out and made it like a little more wild look. So it looks like, you know, newborn baby. Cause Nima is kind of like, she looks a little bit more mature in the face to me than um, Willow. So I think she's a little bit older and I think her hair would have been starting to curl at this point. So I think she truly looks more three months than, you know, um, six weeks or so. So I, I thought it was very appropriate. So we, we will see what her mom has to say when she gets her. And um, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I will be back with another video soon. I am working on something. I'm not going to say because if I don't do it, I won't feel like I didn't, you know, follow through. But I am working on getting prepared to do a video. Um, I will say though, too, I am starting a new series. I haven't decided on the name of the series, but guys, you are not going to want to miss this series. It's going to be really good. I've already started thinking of the storyline and um, as you guys know, I am expecting, um, silicone expecting, and it's going to be a long pregnancy, as you want to call it, or fake pregnancy. So I figured why not do another series? The Puck series was a success. Um, we um, had Raising Noah, which kind of didn't really go as long as I had planned, but Let's go with it, guys, and let's see how it go. And um, let me know in the comment section if you want to see um, if you're going to be excited, say, team series, if you're you're ready to see another series, because some people like the role play part and some people don't. So um, this one will be a little twisted, a <laughs> little drama, a little extra, maybe. You know, I'm a little extra, extra, extra. But um, we will see. Can she ever play with my hands? I love this baby. I love all the babies that I make. I fall in love with them. And it's more so about when you're painting them, you just bond with them so much because you're trying so hard. And I tried so hard with this baby. And when I when I didn't feel like I had did enough, I was just like kind of bummed out. But I still loved her. Like, is that crazy or what? I still loved her. And then when I painted her the second time, I just, you know, I love her more. Just because, like I said, you know, I had planned on keeping her, but, you know, experience is everything, and that's one of the things that I try to do, and I'm not perfect, so there may be a time where, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get it all right with, you know, the transaction and dealing with my customers, and after, you know, they buy the babies, you know, once, once they buy the babies, it's their baby, whatever they do with it, whatever they choose is on them but during the time while I'm working with them I just try to you know make them you know feel a part of the process if that makes sense um because it's important as a collector we we trusting people with a lot of money and we're trusting them to bring our you know our vision to life um, if we're doing a custom and even if you're not doing a custom, you're trusting that someone is going to send you something that you're going to enjoy and love and stuff like that. So that's that. Um, anyway, guys, like I said, I'm gone. I'm out of here for real this time. Again, thanks for watching and thanks for being a subscriber. 
We love you here. And don't forget, get your merch. Get your merch.